Okay, at this point we are going to move on to doing the research for your car design. So just, just take a step back real quick and see where we've been. Um, first of all, how to make a great car, we talked in the last presentation about understanding the career, or excuse me, understanding the engineering principles, uh, making sure that you um, understood about drag and Newton's laws and things like that. So you should have already gone through that demonstration and have a basic understanding of of how all the science behind the CO2 dragsters work. So now we're going to shift our focus to uh, step two and three. Um, in step number two, uh, we need to make sure we know the rules of the race. So we're talking about what we call the design envelope in this case. So I'm going to alt tab back over to my Blackboard page here. And you can see on my Blackboard page, um, after the web quest, which should already have been done uh, and turned in, the demonstration on understanding the design envelope. So you can see your instructor, me, for a copy of the design envelope. Um, and then I'll, uh, I'll provide you with that and you view this demo before. So it's very important at the end of the demo that you'll be able to define what the, uh, or identify what the critical dimensions of the car are. So we'll assume that you've done all that. Um, and the next thing down here will be the CO2 uh, Dragster Results Archive. So this includes uh, in this folder a ton of material uh, results from previous year's um, races. And you can see we go all the way back to the fall of 2006. So it's really quite a lot of data here. Uh, I'll just right click and open a new window and show you what one of these look like. Uh, you can see it's pretty small, so we'll double click and do a little zoom in here. This is a PDF file. And as you'll be able to see in here, we have organized by hour not only all the cars that have, were raced, what the length was, what the mass was, uh, what the drag at 30 miles an hour measured was, uh, the times in the qualifying rounds here, the speed, and then whether they are a race or a show car. And the difference between a race and a show car, you might wonder, is the race cars are completely legal. They have no illegal measurements whatsoever. And if something is illegal in any way, shape, or form, then they are designated a show car. We race them one time uh, in the preliminary rounds, but they are not eligible to advance to our finals. So the semifinals, here were the top four cars here. And as you can see, Jose won this race with a speed of 33.179 miles per hour. So I have all of the formulas all preset here. Um, so you can browse through that as much as you want and kind of take some information. Really not a whole lot of direct information you can get from that. That's always fun to see. Oh, hey, I know that guy or my cousin had this class a couple, three, four, or five years ago. Um, you know, or, or just see uh, what students have done in previous semesters. Um, but anyway, that is the results archive. So we're going to go back to the CO2 Dragster main page. And why don't you take a look at that. Um, you are going to go into researching ideas for your dragster. So the way we do this is pretty simple. Notice there's a few notes here. It says click on the links to explore examples and special note that some pictures may show cars that are not legal under our rules. However, you're going to get some great ideas for general designs that you can use. So the way I like to use these two galleries is simply right mouse click, open a new window and that opens up a new web window for us, a browser window. Double click and there you see a full screen. Okay. I tripped across this uh, site. I thought it was really, really cool um, with regard to different designs. So if I click on one of these thumbnails and blow it up, you're going to see a much closer view here. And this really took some, some time to do. This student um, obviously carved out a lot of material. Um, they probably used a uh, coping saw, which I have. which I have here in my lab and uh, so we can show you how to use that if you want to carve out a middle piece like this and then they use probably a rotary tool which we have access to as well to uh, get something like that done uh, carved in the side so as you can tell they really get creative this is actually a, um, a mechanical uh, advanced mechanical, mechanical drafting and CAD course so this was a pretty cool one here Again, some of these don't meet our requirements as far as width, but wow, this one's really neat. Um, you can see a lot of detail work has gone into this. So anyway, that's just a, a as you as you scroll through, you're going to see these are really advanced designs. Pencils, pretty cool. 
Um, this would not re meet the requirements of our uh, of our um, um, of our design envelope here in the lab, but uh, they're fun to look at and get some ideas from anyway. Um, one special note here on this one. I'm going to click on it to take a clo closer look. These are the wheels that we use in the back, so it's very similar to ours. However, the wheels in the front, this is um, they've modified that. I typically, do not do this. Um, it's it's pretty tough to do because we do not have these special washers and things on hand that uh, they use for um, uh, for projects like this, for cars like this. So typically, what we do is stick to outside wheels like these. So the click on this th uh, thumbnail so our wheels are going to be outside like so there and there and as you've already seen from the design envelope um, you need to make sure you maintain that half inch minimum width here between the axles on the body so this person if that's wide enough this would be a really really fine car and they've obviously taken a lot of um, material off to cut down on its weight and mass so um, let's go back to our blackboard page and I'll click down here Gallery number two, again, right, cl right click, open a new window, and we're going to go down into this one right here. Okay, um, so as you click through here, let me just grab this sample right here. Give it a second to load up here. Try holding down the control button. Oh, it doesn't seem to want to load up some of these pictures. Okay, well, at any rate, once you find a picture you would like, for some reason my browser is not cooperating at the moment, but you know you can obviously just click through and find different cars that you'd like to like to load up. Let's see if I can right click and open link a new window. Yeah, there we go. That one worked. Okay, so let's say that now oh, here's one. Let's right mouse click, open a new window. All right. Let's say that as I'm scrolling through here, I really found some designs I like, like this one right here. So again, we need to make sure that our measurements hold up, like you know, we have a half inch width in the middle and things like that. So if I like this design, it looks like they put some tape on here. Hmm. But anyway, I'll right click, go to copy. I'm going to go over to a brand new PowerPoint presentation I created. I'm just going to click and drag over all this text, close that up. I'm going to right mouse click and paste and what should happen is that I should have a picture of the car that I was just looking at. So I'm going to alt tab back over to the web browser, close this window back up, alt tab again and there you see I'm back at that other page. So um, as I go through these galleries I can put together quite a collection Again, right mouse click, open a new link and a new window. That's pretty cool there. Right click, copy, go over to my PowerPoint, right click, paste, and you get the idea. Okay, so you can put together yourself quite a collage. I'm going to save this in my mod tech folder under CO2 dragster. Double click again, and I'm going to call this sample cars okay so you can put together quite a little um, display I guess you could say a collection of different ideas from around the internet so I'm gonna alt tab back over and we're gonna get back to blackboard where we'll, we can do some more stuff okay so Essentially, researching your designs is as simple as looking at different um, cars, and I want you to make a collection of them, uh, like I showed you. Now, this is something cool. Um, if you go to Google, and we'll just go to Google.com, there we go, right there, and you type in CO2 Dragster, if I can spell it, and I click on Images. And here you see hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of photos. Matter of fact, it doesn't even tell me which how many photos there are, but there are literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of photos. So as you go through again and find cool looking designs like this one right here, click on it, right click copy, go back over to my sample car, right click paste. Some of them are going to be kind of small because they're thumbnails, but you can blow it up a little bit. Again, Alt-Tab. 
Okay, so you get the idea. You can go through this and make quite a collection of ideas just by putting them on a PowerPoint slide. You could also do this on a Word document as well if you're more comfortable doing that. Um, I've just found with uh, graphics like this you can actually um, you know, get a little bit more on there and control the uh, pictures and whatnot. So anyway, that is how we're going to do our research. And then we will move on to our next step, which will be to uh, decide on the actual design through thumbnails. So we've done some research already. So we're partway through step three, and then we're going to go ahead and decide on our design and do some thumbnails.